live from the MVG Production Studios on YouTube, this is Japarity. Now entering the studio are today's contestants. An independent contractor from Jupiter, Florida, AJ Richards. A cashier from Hayes, Kansas, Scott McVeigh. And a returning champion, a retired spy for Irish intelligence from Madison, Indiana, John Bergman, whose one day cash winnings total $20,800. And now, here's the host of your parody, Brandon Scrubs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Thank you all so much. Yeah. Hello, folks. Welcome into another episode of your Parody Q. We saw John last time sneak his way through the corrupt files of the, his opponents there and become champion. But today, Scott McVeigh and AJ Rick- Richards are here to try to stop him from that happening. So, I wish you all mm-hmm. best of luck. Let's go to the, let's go to work in the Japarity round. As always, one daily double on the board in this round as we look at these subjects. We start with a little bit of potluck. We got Planet Schmanet. We have Airline Tail Logos. Strong Guitar Riff Songs. We'll deal with some 2000s World History. And finally, I just need you to bear with me on this one. All right, John, you're the returning champion, so you get to start. Okay, let's go for um, Strong Guitar Riff Songs 600. All right. This Dire Straits riff really shows off the ability of Mark Knopfler on vocals and guitar. Sefi. What is money for nothing? That is incorrect. Oh, oh, oh. Now, was their other big hit, Sultans of Swing? Yeah, oh, of swing. Oh, yeah. My personal favorite by them. Yeah. All right, uh, John, go again. Um, strong guitar riff songs, eight hundred. This Chuck Berry song is based on his life. It tells the tale of a boy with a humble beginnings with a talent for guitar. Seffy. What is Johnny Be Good? That's yeah. the one's right. Now you're out of the hole. There we go. Let's go. So- strong guitar riff songs, the thousand. This Beatles riff was masterfully played by Prince during George Harrison's 2004 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. John. Was While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And by far it is the best version of that I have ever heard in my life. Fantastic. If if you've never seen it or listened to it, go check it out. It's on YouTube. It's well worth the time. I I agree. Go ahead, John. Your turn. Uh, Strong Guitar 400. In Wayne's world, Wayne starts to play this Led Zeppelin riff. Two notes in, he's shut down by the store clerk. John. Well, it's stairway, stairway to Heaven. Stairway. Denied. Correct. <laughs> uh, let's, finish, let's finish out the category for 200. If someone yells out for this Leonard Skinner song again, I swear I'm going to slap somebody. Seffy. Was Freebird. And that is a true statement for me, just so you know. <laughs> go again. Right, let's go. Let's go, damn it, Janet, for 400. All right. <laughs> Play a Founded in 1985 as a different kind of car company, this brand was launched by former GM executives. Sefi. Was Saturn. Saturn's correct. Uh, 600, Planet Schmidt. This planetary song was a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 for Shocking Blue in 1970 and again for Bananarama in 1986. Sefi. What is Venus? Yeah. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. That is correct. Uh, Planet for 800. This last name was used by the only member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame born in Zanzibar. AJ. Uh, Is Mercury? Yeah, Freddie Mercury, you're correct. Nice. Yeah. Welcome again. Nice one. Uh, let's do uh, 2000 World History for 200, please. Okay. May 23rd, 2001, 16-year-old Sherpa Temba Tessery became the youngest person to reach the summit of this mountain. Sefi. What's Mount Everest? That's the one. 
Uh, let's actually go to back to planet for a thousand. Okay. This planet lent its name to one of the locomotives seen at Prometary Summit during the Golden Spike Ceremony in 1869. Sefi. What is Neptune? Nope, that is incorrect. Mm. Um, AJ, could you remind the folks what city you're from? Oh, Jupiter. Yes, Jupiter Jupiter is the one we were looking for there. Eh, It's okay. It happens from time to time. Um, Sefi, you gave me the last right answer. Still your board. Let's let's finish Planet Hollywood. (laughs) All right, Planet (laughs) Planet (laughs) 2. This multinational food conglomerate owns such brands as Twix, Whiskas, and Seeds of Change. That's John. Was Mars? Yes, Mars is correct. Okay, um, let's go for potluck 600. Okay. This is the term for the legislative body, a 1970s funk band, or group of owls. Sefi. What is Donald Trump's cabinet meeting? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good enough for half credit with the funny answer there. Um, not the one we're looking for, though. Anybody else want to give it a go? Oh, yeah. Got it. John. What is Parliament? Parliament's the correct answer. You got it. There you go. <laughs> Parliament. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I will take uh, Tat Dancing Weirdos. For t- no, wrong show. Um, <laughs> not up there this time, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> I pot, pot luck for 800. Okay. The names of the four primary models of this car company are meant to spell out the word sexy. AJ. Uh, who is Nelson Nesrud in a bikini? No. That is not <laughs> sexy at all. I'm sorry. No. no. AJ, I'll yeah. Anybody else? I feel like jerk. <laughs> Oh, man. No, the oh. uh, four models are the models of car from Tesla. Tesla is what oh. we're looking for oh. there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, That's no, right. No, yeah. No, no offense, Nels, but no. Just absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> not. Not take it. I'll meet AJ in the parking lot after this. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, John, go ahead and select. Still your board. Um, let's go for, let's do a little change of pace. 2000 uh, World History 400. Okay. Athens, Greece, was the host of the Summer Olympics in this year. AJ. Was 2004? 2004 is correct. (sighs) Okay. Uh, Bear with me for 400, please. Okay. This is the most likely state in the U.S. you would find polar bears naturally. Sefi. What's Alaska? Yeah, with point zero one five, you're correct, sir. That puts you up to thirteen hundred dollars. Currently in second place, John's still got the lead right now. But we're going to take a quick pause for commercial break. We'll be back for more Japarity right after this. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back to Japarity. Here, let's. Take a moment to meet our contestants here. AJ Richards, uh, independent contractor from Jupiter, Florida. Um, you said you like video games and game shows. Uh, what's your favorite game show of all time? Um, well, back when I was younger, there was a, a show I watched on YouTube. It was called Malcolm. Uh-huh. Hosted by the late, late Alex Trebek. Uh, it just... Uh, popped in my mind that I thought, how come this didn't get a series? Oh, that's such a, you've actually got me. There's there's actually one game show that I've actually never watched, but I'm going to have to look that up. So, thank- It's a good show. I've, 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 I've got to watch an episode of it. It's kind of cute. Yep, I'll have to check it out. Thanks for the suggestion, though, AJ. Good luck to you in the game. Um, Scott McVeigh. I call him, we all call him Sefi here at MVG. He's a cashier from Hayes, Kansas. Um, uh, you said you're into collect collecting things. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, I'm actually collecting some of the old tra- the Transformers, both the old stuff I still have and some new stuff here. One thing I also do with the Transformers, I to actually upgrade them with the new uh, label sets here and all that. There, in fact, I just worked on one 
turning a uh, mirage from uh, the, the G2 colors to it, with the purple and the uh, lime green from uh, generic into what looks like basically a lava lamp version of them. Oh, that is probably really cool. I, I'd love to see some, some of your work there. So we'll, we'll see what Thanks. happens there. Good luck to you today. And John Bergman, our returning champion here, a retired spy for Irish intelligence from Madison, Indiana. Um, yes, John, ex I know we've talked over several of the shows in the past here, but exactly how many times have you been married in your lifetime? Because I've lost count after 100. <laughs> And I, I'm just curious if you, you want to fill well, in some of the blanks for us. I, I would say it would be between, it's between anywhere from about 10 to 200. Okay. So it's not as many as I thought I was thinking, but all right. Fair <laughs> enough. And uh, of those marriages, which one has m meant the most to you? Um, all of them in various degrees of comfort. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the <laughs> safest answer I've ever heard a man say about a I, marriage. So. I don't even remember half of them, but you know. <laughs> I, I understand that. Well, you're in the lead. Uh, you're a turning champion here, so good luck to you. See if you can hold on to it. Um, Sefi, you gave me the last correct answer, so we're back to you on the board. So please select. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Bear with me for 600. In 1972, the U.S. National Zoo in D.C. was given two pandas, Ling Ling and Hing Hing, as a diplomatic gift from this country. Seth, or sorry, AJ. What's China? China's the one. All right, uh, airline tail logos for 200. Okay. Picture clues on these one. This airline is good from coast to coast. AJ. Was American Airlines? American Airlines is correct. All right, uh, potluck for 200, please. This national park in Florida was the first established by the U.S. to protect an at-risk ecosystem. AJ. Was the Everglades. Everglades is correct. I better get that one right. Uh, potluck for 400. Right, otherwise somebody's going to be kicked out of their state at that point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for 400. This iconic actress married playwright Arthur Miller on June 29th, 1956. Seffy. Who's Marilyn Monroe? That is the one. Now, John, was that before or after you met her? <laughs> uh, it was way before. Okay, just check. All right. Seffy, Se you're in the lead. All right, no, uh, you, you're not in the lead, but you're in control. Uh, let's finish up the jackpot for, for a thousand. All right. And you found our daily double for the day. Oh, oh, oh. All right, um, you have seventeen hundred. You're behind by five hundred. Just remember, on the daily doubles, if you miss it, John or AJ can steal the money from you if they if they get it. So, being knowing that, what's your wager? Hmm. I'm going to just go. Let's make it a true daily double. Ooh. All right. Uh, for thirty four hundred, here's your clue. Before finding fame on Friends, Matthew Perry was a top-ranked junior player in this sport. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> uh, what is basketball? No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Ooh. All right, I'm going to read the clue again for John and AJ. You got a chance to steal. This is for $1,700. Again, here's the clue. Before finding fame on Friends, Matthew Perry was a top-ranked junior player in this sport. I have no idea. AJ. Was tennis? Tennis is the correct answer. You got it. Uh, wow. Wow. Nicely done, AJ. Uh, Put you up to $3,100 now, and you're now in control. Matthew Perry, rest in peace, my man. Um, Airline tail logos for 400 please. Okay. This airline was in a lot of trouble for canceling more than 5,000 flights during the 2022 holiday season. Seffy. West Southwest. That is correct. You're back on the board. All right. Let's go airline tail logo 600. This isn't the logo for the American Red Cross, but for this European airline. AJ. Was Swiss Air? Swiss Air is right. Nice. Uh, airline tail logo 800. Good leads the way is the new slogan for this airline. Seffy. What is United? United is correct. 
Let's finish that for a thousand. All right, finally. In 1972, this airline introduced its famous Eskimo logo, which is still used today. AJ. Was Alaskan Airlines? That's good for a thousand. Oh, wow. Um, bear with me, 200. Fittingly, this character from the Jungle Book takes his name from the Hindustani word for bear. Sefi. Who is Baloo? Yes, just the bear necessities. You're right. Yes. Let's go bears with uh, the bad news bears for 800. Okay. <laughs> Ursus arctos horbilis is the scientific name for this subspecies of bear. John. With the pole bear? No, incorrect. Oh. Sefi or AJ? Um, nope. It's, at, it. it's actually the grizzly bear. Grizzly bear is what we're looking for. All right, Sefi, still your board? All right. Let's go Chicago bears for a thousand. Female bears are generally known as sows. Male bears are known by this animal term. Sefi. What are hunky looking and fat gay men? <laughs> wow. Okay. Was not expecting that, but that is definitely funny. Good for half, but not the correct answer. Uh, John or AJ, you have a guess. John. What are studs who wants to bring sexy back? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Good, good, good. good for half there. AJ, thousand still up there if you know the right answer. Oh, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> all right. Well, the, the correct answer is there. The male. Females are sows. Males are called boars after the pig. Oh, uh, just like in pigs. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, John, you got gave me the last right answer, so you're up. Three clues left. Oh, me. Thank you. Uh, 600. Okay. This European landmark reopened to the public in December 2001 after eight years of work to reduce its tilt to 3.97 degrees. AJ. Was the lane tower pizza? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, 800. In 2004, the famous painting, The Scream, was stolen and later returned to the Norwegian Museum dedicated to this artist. AJ. Who is Munich? Munich's the one. And now for the last clue. February 2004, John Bertrand Arstide was overthrown as the president of this country. John. What was Haiti? Haiti is correct. And at the end of the parody round, AJ with a big lead with six thousand one hundred dollars. John in second with twenty nine hundred. Sefi with nineteen hundred. You're going to be selecting first in double parody, and we'll get to that one right after this commercial break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Japarity. Time for the double Japarity round. And, Sefi, you're going to be selecting first from these subjects. We have the old MVG grab bag. Yes, folks, I found a way to actually incorporate it on this game, too. You're welcome. Yay. We, have the 20, we have the 2010s in film. American Lakes. We'll deal with some tough vocabulary. Magic and illusion. And finally... So yummy, they named it twice. All right, Sefi, where are we going? Let's go yummy, yummy in my tummy for 400. Chopped pickles go into this mayo-based sauce that's often served with fish. Sefi. What is tartar sauce? Yes, tartar sauce. You're right. All right, yummy for 800. For starters, you might enjoy this appetizer platter featuring shrimp toast, wontons, and spare ribs. Steffi. What's a poo-poo platter? Yes, but it's not the one you're thinking of. So stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go Name again. it twice for 1,200. <laughs> a popular Tunisian staple, this Simonia dish is served with a fiery hot sauce called harissa. That dish is couscous. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sefie. Well, let's let's switch it over to Magic and Illusion for 400. Okay. 
Giving a lot of bang for your buck in the 1920s, he presented magic, illusions, escapes, and phony mediums exposed. AJ. Was Harry Houdini? That's the one. Um, tough old capillary for 400, please. Refrigerant means relating to this bl- bl- uh, this bending of light and sound waves that pass from one medium to another. Sefi. Oh, God, I think I hit it wrong. I was just going to say, what is echoing? No, I'm sorry. Sean or AJ? AJ. Was refraction? Refraction is correct. Yeah. yeah wow. That was a complete uh, guess out of my ass. Um, <laughs> 2000, eh, I can't talk now. 2010s in film for 400, please. We all know words English can't. It's those kind yeah, of days yeah. for sure. True. All right, for 400. This member of the Avengers was able to lift Thor's hammer in a memorable moment in Avengers Endgame. AJ. Who is Thanos? No. John or ah. Sefi? Sefi. Who is Spider-Man? No. John, you got a guess? I have no idea. Uh, one of the only other ones to lift Thor's hammer at that time, who was Captain America? Captain oh. America is what we're looking for. All right, AJ, go again. Now I saw what I did wrong. Grab that for 400. In 1903, Maurice Garwin won the inaugural edition of this famous bicycle race. Sefi. What is the Tour de France? That would be the one. Well, let's go grab bag for eight. This fashion designer launched his polo menswear line in 1968. Sefi. Who's Ralph Lauren? Lauren Lane is correct with a point zero zero three. Very nice. Very quick. Uh, grab bag 12. This U.S. This U.S. state's name is based on the Spanish word for mountain. Sefi again. What's Montana? Montana's right. All right, it's grab for 16. On February 11th, 1990, Nelson Mandela was released from Victor Vester Prison in this country. AJ. Was South Africa? That's the one. Um, American Lakes 400. As its name suggests, this 1,900-foot deep lake sits atop an Oregon volcano. And that name of the I'm lake? I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry, Travis. <laughs> I was say, Travis is all yeah. disappointed in you, but the correct, uh, it's known as Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. All right. AJ, go again. Crap. Um, American Lakes 800. In honor of a first lady with a famous nickname, Town Lake in Austin, Texas, got this two-word name in 2007. Sefi. Was Lady Bird? Buzzing in a 007. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Shake it. Not stood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go back to 2010's film for 800. Okay. This singer sang the theme song for the 2012 James Bond film, Skyfall. Steffi. Who is Adele? How appropriate that your buzz in time related to that next clue. You're correct. Yeah, I know. Uh, stick with film for 12. This 2010 film used the tagline, You don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. Steffi. What is the social network? That's the film. Uh, film for 16. This 2013 Oscar-winning film was based on an 1853 memoir by Solomon Northup. And that, that great film was 12 Years a Slave. Oh. All right, okay. Sefi? Let's finish that category for 2000. Brad Pitt won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor as a stuntman Cliff Booth in this 2019 film. Sefi? Was Once Upon a Time in America. Wow. No, that is wow. incorrect. Oh. Uh, John. Oh. God, but was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Hollywood is what we're looking yeah. for. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you up the name. Oh, okay. Oh. All, right. All right, John. Uh, let's go for Grab Bag Two Grand. 
Answer there. And our first are two daily doubles. All right, John, you're down by 3,200. How much you want to risk? 3,200. All right, to tie for the lead, here's your clue. John Stewart, Natalie Portman, and Gloria Stefan all have college degrees in this field. What is journalism? No, I'm sorry. It's not journalism. Oh. So now 3200 up for grabs for Sefi and AJ. I'll read the clue once again. John Stewart, Natalie Portman, and Gloria Stefan all have college degrees in this field. And that answer was psychology. Psychology is oh. what we're looking for Ooh. there. All yes. right, John, it costs you a little bit, but you're still in control. So go again. Uh, let's go for uh, magic and three hundred. Okay. On the Big Bang Theory, this notably silent magician played Amy's dad and actually had a line. Thank you, Sefi. Who is Teller? Teller is correct. Uh, magic twelve hundred. In 1983, an onlooker said, "I've never seen a Statue of Liberty disappear the way this one did." Courtesy of this performer, AJ. Who is David Copperfield? That's, oh. that's the one. Oh. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh. oh. No, I thought it's a literary character's name. Um. Okay, uh, let's do Tough Vocabulary 800. The Latin root of journey also gave us this word for a temporary visit. AJ. What is um, asylum? No, incorrect. John or Sefi? John. What is it, Jaunt? Nope. Sefi, no. you got a guess? No guess. Correct response there. What is sojourn? Sojourn. Oh. All right. Good thing I didn't go for it. <laughs> AJ, it's still your board. Tough like, uh, not tough like, uh, tough vocabulary 1200. You found the other daily double. All right, AJ, you actually have a $2,200 lead, sir. How much you want to risk? I knew one of these days I was going to find a daily double. Um, let's do five hundred, please. All right, just five hundred only. Here is your clue under tough vocabulary. In Japan, a standard way to indicate room size is with the number of these woven straw mats. Six is a medium size. Was tatami? Tommy is correct. Whoa. Yeah. Should have wagered more on that one, my friend. But hey, your score is at 9,000, so nicely done. Go again. Um, tough vocabulary, 1,600. The adjective form of a word for an expert craftsman, it tells you that cheese was lovingly handmade. And that word is arsenal. Artisan. Oh, right. oh, there. Hey, AJ? Okay. All right. T finish vocabulary off for 2000. Okay. A hillside cable railway in the novel The Mysteries of Pittsburgh is one of the character's favorite words. And that word is funicular. Funicular. Oh. Wow. Right. AJ, steal your. American Lakes 1200. All right, picture clue here. Secluded inlets called coves are popular for fishing in Midwestern lakes, like Missouri's Lake of These Mountains. AJ. What are the Ozark Mountains? Yeah, Lake of the Ozarks, you're correct. Ooh. Uh, American Lake 1600. A seminal reservation and the communities of Belglade and Pawkey are found around the shores of this lake. AJ. Was Lake Okeechobee? That's the one. Yeah. Ow. Uh, fish off for 2000. Home to a wildlife refuge, this saline sea is the, in the Colorado desert is California's largest lake in surface area. And that lake is Lake Salton. Salton. There. All right, AJ. Let's do yummy, yummy for 1600 A warm water fish 
the Dorado is also known by this Hawaiian name. Sefi. What's a mahi mahi? That's the one. Okay, let's finish yummy for 2000. This Japanese dish is raw meat and raw veggies cooked in a pot of hot broth by the dinner table. Sefi. Was well, shabu shabu. It is quite delicious. You are correct. Yes. All right. Magic for 16. On April 5th, 1999, this magician was burned alive in a plexiglass coffin under a three ton water tank and stayed for seven days. Sefi. Who is David Blaine? Yep, that's the one. And now for the final clue. He said throwing two cards so they stick in the same spot and a watermelon was a feat so impressive I am forced to mention it myself. And that magician was Ricky J. Ricky J. Ooh. All right, end of the double Japari round. We got a close battle here. AJ in the lead with 11,800. Sefi close behind with 11,500. John with 900, not out of it by any means, but he's going to need some help here as we try to, as he tries to win our game as we go to final Japarity now and our final category of the night international intelligence john might have a one up here on this we'll see how it is players make your wagers we'll be back for the final in just a moment Welcome back to Japarity. Now a very close game here. Could go to any of our players here as we deal with some international intelligence for final today. Here's your clue. The Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance is the joint cooperation agreement between the U.S., New Zealand, Australia, and these two countries. You have 30 seconds, players. Good luck. time all right let's see how well our players have done we start with you john you here in third place you had 900 coming in what did uh what did you write down what is indonesia and ireland no i'm sorry that's incorrect your wager cost you everything there down to zero all right sefi you're in second place with eleven thousand five hundred. what did you write down what are Japan and China, GG, John, and AJ? No, I'm afraid that is incorrect as well. Right. What was your wager? 5000 th 5, there. Brings you down to $6,500. AJ had the lead with 11800 coming in. Did he give us the right response? What is Great Britain and India? That is incorrect as well. Um, the two countries in question here were actually the UK, which was one of them. The other one was Canada. The UK oh, and Canada. Oh. The cooperation is the agreement between the US, New Zealand, Australia, the UK, and Canada there. So, and all's going to come down to the wagering now. What was the wager? 5500 there takes it off. And oh by God, and by two hundred dollars, grand total sixty five hundred dollars. Sefi, you are today's Japarity champion. Congratulations! Wow. I was not expecting that. Whoa! <laughs> there, a very valiant game between all three of you. Sefi's managed to win it. He is our champion this time around. He'll be back next time, and hopefully, you'll be back next time with us as well. Uh, remember to like, hit that like button, hit subscribe as well. That way you never miss out on all the episodes here at Japarity or any of the Jeopardy series we've done here on the channel. And until next time, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So long, everybody.